everyone, happy Monday and happy 1st of June. How is it June? Like all of this happened in March, all of this started in March in this country and now we're in June and I still haven't been anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. Um, however, I am actually going to my GP surgery today, which I'm really nervous about because um, I haven't been anywhere, like I said, and I don't really want to go anywhere but I'm a bit worried that I'm getting anemic again and I'm overdue my B12 injection. So um, I called the GP to ask for their advice and they said I needed to come in to have some bloods done. So it's half 12 now and I'm gonna go at half one. Um, and as of today in the UK, you are allowed to see um, up to six people. Well, you're allowed to meet in groups of six um, in private gardens. So actually in people's gardens or um, at like beaches and parks and things. So because the doctor's surgery is so close to my mum's house, I might pop in there and sit in the garden with her on the way home. I've got my face mask, which I'll be wearing at the doctor's. So I can always just leave that on the whole time if I need to and just sit in the garden. I think that might be quite nice. So um, I'll have to see if she's in though, cause she's back at work today because a lot of schools are opening today. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, yeah, it's, it's all still a bit strange, isn't it? But um, yeah, I have to go to the GP today. I'm a bit nervous and I need to get changed because I can't have a blood test or an injection in this dress. <laughs> Sorry about the washing machine in the background, I've just put it on. But um, that ended up being a bit of a rigmarole. It's now quarter to four and I left at about 20 past one. Um, I got to the doctor's and obviously it's a bit of a rigmarole to get into the building now. They take your temperature, you have to uh, sanitize your hands. And um, then I went in, had my blood test. The lady doing the blood test couldn't do the B12 jab, so I had to sit and wait for another nurse. And then she said they didn't have any B12 in the surgery. Normally they prescribe it to you and you go and collect it and then you have to take it to your appointment. The doctor had told me to just come in and have it done, but they hadn't checked if they had any and they didn't. So they then had to go and write me a prescription. I then had to take the prescription to a pharmacy um, and get that B12, but I couldn't just go straight back to have it done because they had another person coming in for an appointment. So I then had to go away for an hour and come back. So it was a bit of a faff in the end. Um, and I took a new look parcel back to the post office while I was there because the pharmacy and like the, the one stop and the post office are next to each other. Um, and it was awful. It's the first time I've been in a shop since like the beginning of March, end of February and there were all markings on the ground like telling you where you need to stand and people were totally ignoring them this woman was stood right behind me like i could feel her breathing on me and i was not happy i told her to please move back and look at the floor so that she could see where she needed to stand um it wasn't great so i certainly won't be rushing out to the shops anytime soon i literally just wanted to return that new look parcel to make sure i get my money back but I won't be doing it again. Uh, the pharmacy was fine and like inside the doctor's surgery was fine in terms of like feeling safe, but the shop was not nice. Everyone was just pushing past each other and it was horrible. Um, I'm glad I had my mask on and obviously I've washed my hands like a million times during this whole process with the hand sanitizer and then I washed them when I got home. So yeah, it, it wasn't great and it's taken a lot longer than I thought. Um, and now I need to try and sort out tonight's weekly vlog. Thankfully it's a shorter one, so hopefully it won't take so long to upload. So even if it, you know, goes up a little bit late, hopefully people won't mind. Uh, but yeah, I don't know when I'll get my results, but I've had my B12 now, so hopefully that will help. And they'll be able to see if there's anything wrong with my blood test results and they'll let me know. But yeah, glad I had it done, but what a fact.
everyone. I'm not going to film myself just yet because I'm not feeling great and I haven't sorted out my hair or makeup or anything. But this morning I've just been doing a little bit of uh, creative journaling in my 2020 journal. Um, this is a spread about VE day. We had a little afternoon tea. And this is the um, May Lollipop Box Club kit. And I'm on their creative team. So Lisa does send me my kits for free. Um, but I just thought I would show you the layout that I've made this month and I'm going to um, send some pictures to her for her blog. So my journaling is on that little card there. But yeah, I think it's so cute and the um, pom-poms look adorable down the side. I've never done that before and I don't know why not because it's so cute. Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I have just got out of the bath and done my skincare routine and washed my hair, so this is the look that I'm going for today. Uh, believe it or not, I look better than yesterday, so we'll just go with it. Um, again, I haven't really shared much this week, which wasn't my intention, but um, being totally honest with you, I've spent much of the last couple of days um, following the news um, via Twitter and Instagram and whatnot, um, specifically regarding the protests that are currently happening globally um, in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. And um, I don't want to talk about how I feel too much specifically because it's just not about me, um, but I have spent the last couple of days trying to share as many resources as I can um, and share as many black voices as I can on my social media, primarily my personal Instagram account and my Twitter account. Um, and because I haven't addressed it in a video, I didn't want anyone to think that I didn't care, because um, that just couldn't be further from the truth. This is something that I have felt passionately about and spoken passionately about in my real life um, for many years. So, <laughs> Archie feels passionately about it too. So um, what I wanted to do was just acknowledge it on here and say that um, I do care very much and I've been sharing a lot of resources on other Instagram accounts and um, my Twitter account for people, um, primarily white people, who want to learn more and educate themselves more on the topic and find out how they can help the cause because I strongly believe it's something that we should all be doing. Um, and I don't want to cause any sort of debate or anything, I just wanted to address it um, in a video. One of the best things we can do, along with sharing the voices and experiences of black people and people of other ethnic minorities, um, is to educate ourselves with the works of black authors. And I currently only have one non-fiction book on this topic, which is shameful, and I have some others on my Amazon wish list now that I want to buy. Um, but I, re I read this book a couple of years ago and I'm rereading it now um, and it's by Rennie Edo Lodge and it's called Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race and it basically covers so much of the, the backstory of black history that we're just not taught at school and um, the frustrations of trying to speak to white people about race and it's brilliant. I loved it the first time I read it and I'm already 96 pages in again and it's just as good, just as empowering, just as eye-opening. Um, and I would really recommend that you guys try and read similar texts, um, sign petitions, do what you can. Somebody in my um, previous vlog asked if I could show my Pandora bracelet to you, so I thought I would. Um, I'm just showing you it on the back of my bullet journal, so sorry about like the pen marks and how grubby the back of my bullet journal is, but I just thought it would show up better on here. So I have just one of the normal Pandora bracelets and I have one of the safety chains as well, but I've just taken it off one end so I can lay my bracelet out flat. Um, and I have mostly Disney themed um, charms on this bracelet um i have some christmas ones as well which go on it every november and december 
uh, but obviously they're not on it right now. And I do have some other ones as well that I've taken off in favour of some of my Disney ones. And if I want to change it around, I can. Um, but basically, I just thought I'd show you what I've currently got. So um, I'll just start with this one purely because it's the first charm I ever got. And it's the little graduation owl. And my parents actually bought me this Pandora bracelet with that owl on it for my graduation in 2015 when I graduated from university. So um, I just thought I would start with that one. Uh, but the rest of them I won't go through in order. I can't remember what order I got them in. So I have these little heart clasps on either end and I feel like these might actually be camellia clasps. I'm not sure if they are Pandora, um, but basically they just stop the charms from sliding around and moving around. So I've got one of those on both ends. And then this one is a little Mickey head charm with different Mickey expressions on it. And um, this bracelet really needs a clean. I made the mistake of painting some skirting boards wearing this bracelet and some of the paint got onto the bracelet. Um, so it really needs a clean. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the fact that there's paint on some of these. There's paint on this one as well, as you can see. He's got a little white ear there and a white eye. Uh, but this one is a lion wearing a crown and Will bought me this one. And I picked it out for my birthday a couple of years ago. Um, but he is a... Leo and so I picked this one out for him to get me just to represent him on my bracelet. Uh, most of them do have a meaning which is nice. Then I've got a little spacer here which is just um, like cubic zirconia mickey heads. Um, that is a Pandora Disney collection one um, but again it really needs a clean it's so grubby. It was so shiny when I first got it. Then I've got this little book of fairy tales just sort of symbolising my love of Disney and it's got like the princess and the frog on the back um, and I got that one from my parents at some point. It was a birthday or Christmas present. This charm I bought, I think it was on my first trip to Disney. Oh, the lighting's just gone, hasn't it? Sorry, I know the lighting's just gone, but I don't know if it'll be coming back anytime soon. So um, this one I got on my first ever trip to Disneyland Paris and it's a Cinderella themed charm and it says a dream is a wish your heart makes and it's got little like blue gems in there and blue gems on the back then I've got another spacer here which is just flowers and I think that one's from Camellia this one is a clip um, and it's obviously a Mickey head that was from Disney and then uh, this one is Alice in Wonderland in the teacup this was a present from my mum when we went to Disneyland Paris together in 2019 then I've got Mrs. Potts and Chip, and this was a Christmas present <laughs> a couple of years ago. Um, then I have the 2020 charm from the Disney Parks. So I believe it's a Disney Parks exclusive, and it's got the castle on the back with fireworks. So I bought that when we were in Florida. I wish I had bought the 2019 one um, when I was there with my mum last year, but I just didn't get around to it, and I really regret it. These two interlocking hearts my mum bought for me um, when Will and I got engaged. This little graduation owl I've already talked about. And then this one I got as a birthday gift one year, I think. So as you can see, they're pretty much all gifts. I think I only bought maybe two of them myself. Um, so it's nice because they all have a meaning and they're all special to me. I think that Alice is one of my favorites I wanted that for a really long time sorry about my gross fingers in all of these but yeah so that is my Pandora bracelet hello me again happy Thursday I feel like you can always tell when I am not feeling well because my effort with my appearance just completely goes out the window um I am not feeling well the last couple of days and last night I was up nearly all night with terrible tummy aches so um, this is the best we're going to get today, isn't it? With our appearance. <laughs> um, yeah, just wanted to hop on and say, sorry, this vlog's been a bit weird again. Um, like I say, just not feeling very well and have no motivation. And the sunny weather's gone, uh, gone away now as well. So it's not even nice to like go and sit outside. But this morning I had a really lazy morning because of not feeling great. And also I woke up to find that Winnie had pooed all over the spare room again. 
um, having an upset tummy herself. So obviously it can't be helped. If you've got an upset tummy, you've got an upset tummy. I understand that better than anyone. So it's not her fault at all, but just not a nice way to be woken up when you've spent most of the night awake with a bad tummy yourself. I'm not even sure when it happened because let's just say when I left my bedroom this morning there was a very distinct smell and like I say I was up and down all night so I'm not even sure when it happened but I had to clean all of that up this morning which was just not nice um so I had a very lazy morning recovering from that and still just not feeling very well myself um and then I've just been out and cleaned out the rabbits um so that I've at least done one productive thing today and I also wanted to say, um, regarding the topic I was discussing yesterday and recommending books and everything, um, I have just signed up to a free 30-day course run by a lady, I think she's called Rachel Cargyle. Um, I will leave the link in the description to anyone um, who is interested in learning more about black history and um, the system and how we can become actively anti-racist. And I feel like that's something that we should all be aspiring to. So I'm going to start doing that course in the next couple of days and I would encourage other people to do the same um, if they want to learn more. Um, what else? My local McDonald's opened today and I was genuinely tempted to go and try and get some chicken nuggets and a Sprite but I don't want to queue so I'm not going to do that but I might try and go at some point in the next couple of days. Um, and I really would like to do some scrapbooking. Yeah. Guys, my least favourite villager finally moved out. So today I'm on a villager hunt. I've got a couple of Nook Mall tickets in my pockets. And I'm off to try and find a new villager. There are a few that I want. I'd like another squirrel or a hamster. Um, and there's a couple of the ducks that I think are cute as well. But we'll see who we get. This is who we've got first. T-Bone the cow. <laughs> He will not be coming home with me to my island, unfortunately, for T-Bone. So, on to the next one. And now we have Jacques, who is also not coming home with me. <laughs> Sadly, not third time lucky either, because now we have Buzz, who is not a friend of mine. <laughs> I just want a cute little squirrel or a hamster, is that too much to ask? Sorry, Rhonda, you're pretty, but you are just not the one I'm looking for. Fourth island, fourth no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Next we have Mitzi the cat. She's quite cute, but I don't really like the cats. It's not what I'm looking for, but at least she's not hideous. <laughs> I found the one I was looking for! Yay, I wanted... Um, either Poppy or Sylvana or Blair, the squirrels. Or I wanted Flurry or Apple, the hamsters. Or I think there's one called... I can't remember what he's called. Hamlet, maybe. And I wanted him as well. But I am super happy with Poppy and I'm going to stick with her. So, yay, villager hunt over for today. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I just wanted to share this. Um, I just got a random little note in the post from Mandy who runs Jolly Sticks. And... Oh, cute. That's cute in the back. Um, I ordered from her shop a couple of weeks ago some of the Animal Crossing... Um, no, I ordered Nintendo Switch stickers from her. And she has sent me a little rack, a little random act of kindness with some Animal Crossing stickers, some Wash the Dog stickers, and these, which I believe are inspired by the Disney princesses. So cute. Wasn't expecting it at all. This isn't sponsored or an ad or anything like that. It's just a little random act of kindness from Mandy, which is really nice. So thank you so much, Mandy. That's really made me smile today. I have come over to my desk in the craft room and I've decided that I'm going to work on this renovation scrapbook album for the rest of the afternoon um, or until it's done because I have been putting it off and putting it off for like two weeks now um, because I can't get the pages to look exactly the same as they were like in the beginning because I don't have the same supplies and it's so stupid because it's only going to be Will and I who look at this album anyway so as long as it's done it really just shouldn't matter 
So I'm just going to go ahead and try and get as much of this done as possible so that I can tick off another lockdown project and tick off another scrapbook album because this one has been going for five years so it needs to be done. I did it, I finished the scrapbook album that has been plaguing me for five years. <laughs> I finished it. Um, I want to do a flip through, but I don't think I'm gonna do it on my main channel because I don't think it's gonna be something that is like um, of interest to most people because the photos aren't particularly great and um, it's personal, I guess, because it's like the renovation of our house. Um, as you can see, like I've said a million times, the original pages are so much more detailed um, and embellished than the later pages, but I honestly just don't care at this point. Like, I'm so glad that it's done and it's another album TikTok. I just want to stamp the dates for all of the more recent photos because I didn't keep um, a little sticky note of what date those pictures were taken, so I'm going to do that. Um, maybe tomorrow or maybe later, but I'm absolutely starving now, so I want to eat. But yeah, I'm so, so happy that this album is finally done. Hello everyone. I'm tired today. <laughs> we may as well just call this, like, makeup-free week. <laughs> um, I... I'm trying to be upbeat for you guys, but um, I'm deteriorating quite quickly, really, in terms of health, and I still haven't had any blood test results back, so if you don't have them done in the hospital, it can take about a week for your results to get back, and obviously the health service is very busy right now. Um, yeah, I d just don't feel very well at all. I'm waking up all hours of the night with terrible tummy pains, and I've been up since five this morning. Thankfully, I slept from like half ten till five, um, which is the longest I've slept in Oh, a good couple of weeks really um but I woke up at five feeling awful and I've been awake since then so it's a bit rubbish but I mean I've I've put a hoodie on today I still got pajama bottoms on but I put a hoodie on <laughs> so that's something but yeah you can definitely tell because I I just can't be bothered to like get ready or or do anything anymore um but I did finish that scrapbook yesterday so I'm going to give you a flip through of that but I just thought I would give you a quick wedding update um so no big news um i'm having our invites reprinted with our new date and time for our celebration uh for next april and i emailed our local registry office to ask whether they had any idea of when they were going to be opening up again for appointments because up until now i've sort of just been letting it all play out and seeing what happens um, but I had seen several other registry offices post on their websites that they were opening up again for appointments because the government restrictions on registrations had been lifted. So um, I just emailed my local office and were like, you know, I've seen this in other areas. Do you have any idea when Hampshire is going to be opening up their um, offices? Because I live in Hampshire. And um, they basically said that they are currently putting procedures in place to keep people safe when they come in. So they're in the process of doing that now. Um, and they are hoping to open for appointments soon. So they said because our wedding date is coming up quite soon, obviously we want to have the legal ceremony done um, on the original date. So they said because that's coming up quite soon, uh, they would take my details and they would call me as soon as we could make an appointment. So that's positive. Um, and the thing with giving notice as well is that once you give notice of marriage, once it's like approved and the, the 28 days are up or 29 days are up or whatever. Not only can you get married on your original date, but you can get married um, any time up to a, a year afterwards. So um, if we can't go ahead on our date in August or um, we can only go ahead with two witnesses and we decide not to do it, for example, because the reason we're doing it is because we want to have like our parents and grandparents and everything see us get married. Oh. 
the post. The main reason we're considering doing it is because, you know, like I want my grandparents to see us get married and everything. Um, even if they have to wait outside, so to, so to speak. But if we can only have two witnesses, like that would make it very difficult for us. So um, as long as we're allowed about 10 people, we're gonna go ahead. But if it's less than that, we'll probably push it back to a date where we can have more people there. But it just means we don't have to give notice again. So um, that notice will be valid at that venue for up to a year. So yeah, I suppose that's positive in a way because they seem to be hopeful that they're gonna be able to open um, for appointments at some point in the near future. Um, I think that some sort of wedding update is gonna come in time for this stage three plan um, on the 4th of July. Not that I feel like we are even like approaching stage three to be honest I'm kind of confused about the whole thing but um I think some sort of wedding update is going to come that first week of July um which would obviously be good for us because we would know like whether there was any point in us even giving notice at this point and, and whether our legal ceremony can go ahead but um yeah I don't think we're going to get any answers before then it would be nice if we did but I don't think we will also a little update on Winnie um Again, worst dog owner of the year award goes to me because I forgot her painkillers yesterday. I don't really know like how I forgot. Basically, she woke up um, in the morning and like I said, the, the spare room was covered in poo and um, we had to clean all of that up. So I didn't give her breakfast because um, I was worried about her tummy. So if your dog's got an upset tummy, the best thing to do is maybe skip a meal. Um, and see how they go so that's what I did and so I forgot to give her her painkillers and then she doesn't get painkillers in her dinner so I just totally forgot later on that day and this morning she was not feeling very well so I've given her obviously painkillers in her breakfast this morning and she's improved loads but it just goes to show that she needs to be on the painkillers long term so I've ordered some more with the vet along with their like flea and worming treatment that I needed to get and I'll have that to pick up on Monday but yeah just wanted to give you a Winnie update for those who ask about her. I have to apologise in advance before I start this little flip through because, as usual, I've got the back door open for the dogs to go in and out and a fly has come in here and they always like to congregate in my craft room. So if you can hear a fly buzzing around, I do apologise. So I've just flipped open the album. It starts with the original um, like estate agent leaflet for the house um, and I think I'll, I'll show you the inside of it because um, we don't live in this town anymore so <laughs> it's okay to show you but I just want to show you how awful the house actually was so that is what the house looked like when <laughs> we bought it pretty nasty <laughs> And I'm sorry if that comes across offensive. I don't necessarily mean the decor or anything. It was just so dirty and so grubby. Like, it was nasty when we first got it. Anyway, it starts with a layout. The album starts with a layout of a picture of the house from the outside and a picture of when Will got the keys. And that was on May 18th, 2015. So it's just past five years since we bought this house. But obviously we've lived in this new one now for nearly two years. Um... But this has been five years in the making, this scrapbook. So um, it's taken me longer to create this scrapbook than it took us to renovate the whole house. <laughs> but yeah, so that was made with Dear Lizzie products, I think. And then I have a layout of how we looked at the time, which is a bit embarrassing because uh, it's a very old picture and look at our chubby little cheeks. Um, <laughs> but I wanted a layout in here of the two of us together at the time, how we looked when we bought, bought this house as a little, you know, snapshot in time. But yeah, so I'm not gonna go into masses of detail, I'm literally just gonna flip through it, but these were some pictures of the first time I went to the house. I took lots of pictures so that we could do before and afters eventually. This is the upstairs, and I'm sorry a lot of these pictures are really dark. At the time, I wasn't really editing my photos before I put them into my scrapbook, so um, that was a mistake. I should have tried to lighten them, but it does give you like an accurate depiction of what the house looked like. Um, this was originally going to be the new bunny house, this big outbuilding that we had, but eventually we just moved the shed over from my parents. 
There we go, that's the garden. And then this is when the work began. So on this same day when I went around there, we ripped up the kitchen floor, we ripped up the carpets and um, we didn't rip up all the carpets in this new house because they weren't too bad. But in this house, there was no way we could live with those carpets on the ground until we could get new ones because they were so disgusting. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is a little playlist card. We listened to a lot of country music while we were renovating the house and doing all of that initial work and it's like really fond memories that we both have now so I've written about that these are my favorite songs by Tim McGraw that we had on our playlist there's another layout there about when the kitchen was ripped out and then this one is called yay for the lean-to because the lean-to at first was the only functional room that we had in the house so we spent all of our weekends at the house and we set up the lean-to as a little space to get away from the building work and to eat our food and stuff that we brought round um, during those renovation weekends. So we have a sofa in there and a little table and chairs. This is just a little decorative thing. And then we have got filling in the holes in the kitchen and cleaning things up. Trying to clean up the living room. The start of the electric work so like all of these new plugs were put in we had a new fuse board put in so much work was done to this house the entire thing was rewired replumbed everything this was will's little project of filling a hole in the ceiling of the kitchen after the electrics was done there we go working on the living room getting all of the wallpaper off and starting on the upstairs bedrooms, getting all of the wallpaper off. Uh, this is a layout all about the things that we bought. And I just thought it would be really interesting to keep those in. Um, all of those receipts. And then this one is called Hi June. And it's just some things that we were doing in June. So I thought it was funny because it's like me relaxing and Will's doing some work. Then we've got more kitchen progress. So the ceiling was plastered. We had a little bit of a nightmare down here on the kitchen floor more progress in the bedrooms getting the wallpaper off there were so many layers of wallpaper in every room that it it took so long so these last couple of pages this is sort of where i picked it up um after years of not doing it um so you'll notice that there's less embellishments basically i got to the point where i just needed this album to be done so the rest of the album is far less embellished than the beginning but it just feels so good to have this done. The only thing I still need to do is go through and stamp some dates in towards the end. So I'll do that eventually. But for now, it's finished. Um, plastering some of the new plug sockets where they had like taken out a chunk of the wall. Plastering the kitchen. Sanding the bedroom walls. As you can see, I took photos of everything. And even though it was a long slog to do this album... I'm glad I did. Here we go. New plug sockets, new light sockets. My little brother helping getting some wallpaper off. And you can really see how long ago this was because this is my little brother Liam. So at the time he would have been nearly 14. He looks like a baby in, the, in that picture there. And now he's nearly 19. I've put remember this because this is this random shelf that was um like halfway up the stairs. And it was so high you would never be able to put anything on it. And we just joked so much about this shelf. So I, I took a picture of it way back when and I've put remember this. Some ceiling painting going on in various rooms. Some whitewashing of the kitchen and of the ceiling in the kitchen. Our new kitchen arrived. As you can see, I need to go through and like stamp the dates in these, but that's fine whitewashing lots of different rooms will's office was finished and we started painting the kitchen it was this beautiful apple green and um it's called apple white but it, it's like a very sort of minty green and eventually when our kitchen is done in this house we want to paint it in the same color because we love it so much the sofa was moved into the living room so was the table and chairs more progress in the upstairs rooms and we had a kitchen. The kitchen was finally fitted. I love this layout. Oh no, we've got a casualty. That needs to go back and be 
stuck on properly, but this is about one of the bedrooms, progress in the bedroom, trip to Ikea to get our new bedroom furniture. So we put the bed up, we've got some wardrobes, microwave, the kitchen started to come together. You can see here we started to put little bits into the kitchen so that Will could move in. The work started on the bathroom so we had a new toilet put in, sink, radiator, bath, a new boiler. Like I said the whole thing was replumbed. A few little decorative bits sneaking in. Will finally had his bed sorted, fake fireplace and mirror in the living room. So it all just started to come together and um, Will moved his office furniture into his office. And then we go into 2016 so as you can see this first chunk of the album is all just like the first six months of having the house and that was when the largest amount of work was done so most of the album is just 2015 um, but I wanted to obviously carry on until the work was done so this is Will's first Christmas in the house he moved in in November and um, I spent as much time there as I could but I didn't actually move in there until um, May 2016 but yeah so this is the beginning of 2016. We had flooring put down in the hallway and the kitchen at last. Um, this is before it was grouted, obviously, and then this is after. So beautiful. And we also had flooring put down in the living room. I say we had flooring put down, we did it ourselves, <laughs> but we bought the flooring and, and installed it. For the living room, it was just laminate, but we loved it. It made such a difference. Um, the hallway was painted, my office was painted on my craft room. Um, we found a dresser for £50 in a charity shop, so I snapped that up and moved it over to the house and painted it ready for me to move in. Uh, this is just documenting when I decided to move into the house. So I had a really hard time in spring of 2016 and I decided to quit my job because I was really unhappy. Um, and I had a bit of a... I'm not going to lie, I had a bit of a mental breakdown and I decided to quit my job, move out of my parents' house, get a puppy, all in the space of about a week. And I'm very lucky that my family and Will are so supportive because none of them told me I was being crazy, even though I fully was. So um, they supported me through that and Will got my craft room ready for me so that I could move all my stuff over. I had this beautiful flooring in my craft room, I love it. Um... And then I packed up all my stuff at home and this was my first morning in the new house. So I've put the dream because I was living with Will finally. I had my little puppy in the background and then I was putting together my craft room furniture that I had bought. And that's mainly what this um, page is about, you know, the little craft room details, getting this beautiful room ready. And we tidied up the garden a bit so that it was puppy safe. June, work continued in the bathroom. The bathroom was a long process. We had just a bath, a sink and a toilet for a really long time. Um, but at this point, the tiles went in. Just a little picture of Archie there, just showing how we spent our summer. And then a little picture of Winnie, um, just to sort of mark that she joined our family in August. Um, I wanted to show some decorative bits, like once I started moving in, the house started getting a bit prettier because I, I bought things for it. Um, and this is just a random one, like I bought a cute cleaning caddy and a, a basket for Archie's toys. There's another little craft room bit there. And then this was our first Christmas together in the house. I don't know why there isn't a picture of us together, but there is you know, pictures of how I decorated the house for Christmas that year. I just loved it. It was so beautiful. This house is lovely, but the layout of this living room, our old living room, was so much nicer for the Christmas tree. Um, then we've got February of 2017. The bunnies finally moved in with us because um, the garden was paved and the shed was moved over. And then this was just us trying to sort out the garden a little bit and make it even nicer. We had a new fence put in and our kitchen like backsplash was finally tiled and that looked absolutely beautiful as well. I missed this kitchen a lot, it was so nice. And then these are the last spreads really because after this, um, in February of 2018, the house was officially finished. So this was Christmas 2017, just documenting again how the house looked at Christmas. There's a picture of us together and our kitchen at Christmas. Um, another little picture of the bedroom, not really sure why that's in there, but apparently when I put this album together I thought it deserved it. 
updated work in the bathroom so we had a shower installed we got some new furniture and a little bath uh, tray and I just felt like it looked so lovely in there once that was done um new carpet so we finally had everything carpeted and we sorted out the lean to so that that was like a more usable space again and then as soon as that was done in February 18 the house was put on the market <laughs> so in here I also have the leaflet um of estate agent photos that were taken when we put the house on the market and as you can see it's just so different like I really feel like we did a fantastic job with this house and I do miss the interior of this house a lot um, but we'll make this one beautiful eventually. So the last little page I have in here is all of my before and afters so I have like toilet before and after, this little celebrate card, hallway before and after, um, living room before and after and that's another one. Uh, kitchen before and afters, um, bedroom before and after, craft room, bathroom and Will's office and then the back is literally just this polka dot, scribbly polka dot paper. So yeah that is my home renovation album that has taken me five years to complete. The house took three years to complete and then we immediately sold it um, and obviously a lot has happened in the last two years so it's taken me five years to get this album finished but oh my gosh I cannot describe how good it feels to have this done, to have another album ticked off and, you know, one that has taken me so long to do as well. So uh, my next long term album that I want to tick off is my first, oh no, not my first volume, my second volume of my travel albums. So that will be the next one that you see me working on. But I just wanted to do a little flip through of this one for you because you guys have seen me working on it over the last couple of weeks, um, but I didn't want to do a separate video on it. Um, but yeah, so there it is. That is a flip through of my renovation album. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and we will go back to regular programming. I feel so tired and out of breath now after standing there and filming that. So I'm sat in my lovely Alice in Wonderland chair. But I thought I would just update you. So I spoke to um, the receptionist at the GP before I filmed that flip through. And she told me that my blood results were there, but nobody had called me about them, which I'm not surprised. And they've prescribed me folic acid again, despite saying on Monday that I wouldn't need folic acid. Clearly I do. Uh, so my folate levels are, are obviously low. And it also says that I need to be booked in for iron treatment. So as suspected, I am anemic again, which explains all of the symptoms that I've been having. Um, so I have asked for a doctor to call me back this afternoon so that I can discuss it with them and see what treatment they mean um, or if by treatment they just meant the folic acid but because my Crohn's is playing up at the moment I feel like I'm going to need a bit more help to get those iron levels up. Uh, basically when you have something like Crohn's or colitis your body isn't absorbing anything properly, your gut just stops absorbing things so you, you know, the stage that I'm at now it's probably absorbing 50% maybe of what I'm eating um, so I'm not really losing weight at the moment but I'm clearly not getting all those vitamins and minerals that I need and I take vitamin and mineral supplements so I should be having fairly okay levels um, so I think I'm going to need a little bit of help with that to get my levels back up so I'm hoping that they will be able to shed some light on that when they call me later I've also called my hospital consultant again and left a message on their answer phone. So I'm really hoping that somebody will get back to me and discuss my options with me for my Crohn's medication as well. Obviously now, in the middle of a global pandemic, is not a good time to be on immunosuppressants, but it's looking like I'm going to have to go back on them. Um, but I just need to discuss with a doctor what my options are, because I've tried lots of different medicines now and I've had horrible side effects from all of them. Obviously the last one I was on nearly killed me, and the one I was on before that, um, there were lots of other side effects with that, like my hair falling out and being covered in eczema. And with the wedding coming up and everything, that's just not really what I want, so... <sighs> I'm out of breath again now from doing all that talking, but um, I will obviously keep you updated and thank you for all your lovely messages. They are very much appreciated. Hello everyone, me again with no makeup and damp hair <laughs> because I had a bath and washed my hair and everything this morning and couldn't be bothered to dry it again. I also went from one pair of pajamas to a clean pair of pajamas with a sweatshirt over the top because I still can't be bothered to get dressed. Um, didn't film anything yesterday because I just felt really poorly all day and I don't feel much better today to be honest I'm so tired because I'm not sleeping properly 
and um, it's like getting to the point now where I'm not like eating properly either so um, I just feel really drained and rubbish so um, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not on Friday but the GP called me back and I'm now on several different kind of supplements again um, based on my blood results including iron and folic acid which I knew I would need to have I don't know why they never listen to me but um, yeah I'm now on iron and folic acid and quite a high dose of vitamin D and like a general multivitamin and everything as well um, but I'm waiting for the hospital to call me tomorrow hopefully to get the ball rolling on some Crohn's medication because I just can't go back down this road again like I feel so bad today and this whole week in general to be honest and it you know so much has been taken away from us all at the moment um you know normal life is completely on hold um but I can't even like go out on a walk or do stuff around the house at the moment because I just feel so tired and so drained it's just such a horrible way to be and like every minute I'm expecting to have a horrible tummy ache and spent most of this morning being sick and just yeah it's just not nice um I had plans to do stuff today I wanted to make um make up a new planner with you guys but I think I'll save that for next week um and instead I'm just going to call it a day with the vlog sorry it was another rubbish one but my health is just kicking my but again at the moment the last two years have just been so hard and with everything that's going on in the world at the moment as well I'm sure other people feel the same um these are all issues that I'm really passionate about but um I just feel because I feel so physically drained I feel like mentally drained as well and I just feel really burnt out um so I think I need to take a little break from it all and um watch some Queer Eye on Netflix because the new season of that dropped this week and watch some Disney films and just yeah um but yeah I am exhausted <laughs> so I will see you next week hope you enjoyed the vlog if you have any questions or comments let me know and I'll see you next time bye guys